express as products. Express as products really means to factorize. We are given the term 9y minus 12 as example a and b is 6x square y plus 15xy square. Let us see how to express them as products. Now 9y minus 12, let me rewrite this as 9y minus 12. We could write them in with their factors. Uh, 9 could be written as 3 times 3. So we could write this as 3 times 3 times y. And 12 could be written as 3 times 4. Now from here you can see that 3 is a common factor between the two terms. So we can take 3 as a common factor and within the brackets we are left with the rest of the parts which is 3y for the first term minus 4. So now you see we have written this difference 9y minus 12 as 3 times 3y minus 4 which is the product form. Right? So that is how we can express a difference of terms as product of two different terms. So that is also called factorization. Let's repeat the process for part B. So we have 6x square y plus 15xy square. So the idea is to write prime factors for these and then find the common factors. 6 is 2 times 3 so we can write 2 times 3 and x square really means there are 2x times x and then we have y plus 15 is 3 times 5 and then we can write this as x times y times y which is y squared. Now if you notice 3 is common right and as far as x's are concerned 1x is common and even 1y is common right. So we can factor out these terms which are common that is 3xy. So if we take away 3xy as a common factor, we are left with 2x from the first term plus 5y in the second term. Right? So that is how we can express sum of terms as product of terms. Well, as an exercise, what you can do is you can apply the distributive property, right? Multiply 3xy with 2x and then with 5y and see if you get the original expression back. So let's do it, right? So let's check if it is correct. 3 times 2 is 6, so we get equals to 6. x times x is x squared and then we are left with y plus the second term will be 3 times 5 as 15, x, y times y is y squared, which is the starting expression. So it is indeed correct form in the product form correct so you can check for the first one also let's check that out so let's check this first one also so when we multiply 3 by 3 we get 9 then we get 9y right so 9y minus 3 times 4 is 12 so we do get 9y minus 12 correct so that is how you can check your answer also i hope that helps thank you